It's always a noisy event when you gather cows this time of year. So I have long johns on and then I wear chinks, which are these chap things right here. Don't bite my foot. This, oh, he's peeing. I was wondering why my horse stopped. <laughs> Yep, yep, come on, yep, 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 ha, 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 hey! Watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey, 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 bull, hey, bull. Whoop. And don't kick me. Whoop. This is the time of year ranchers need to take the calves off the cows. It's called weaning. And uh, right now, it gets. Right now, a lot of your work is going to have to be done in darkness on one end or the other. It's starting to get. In Montana, the days are getting shorter uh, at a rapid rate. So it's, it's 6 15 right now, and it's still totally black, stars out, and it will be for another hour. But we're going to run up to the corrals and we're going to get loaded up on our horse and ride out and gather the cattle and then take the calves off and ship them over to a feedlot to be fed up for a little bit. That's what we're doing today. I'm turning to Evandenacre. Welcome to Life in the West. Well, today is a kind of a stressful day for ranchers because it's all a timing thing. When, you, when you're hauling calves anywhere, you have semi-trucks that have to be, be somewhere at a certain time, which means the calves have to be ready for the semi-trucks. So we have to take all these cows and calves, push them over the krill, and then sort off all the calves from, from their mothers by the time that the semis get there. That's, and, and anytime you have a, a deadline, as you know, like if you're in, college or at work it's it causes you stress so and and this is the only time of year you're really expecting to get paid from your calves is when you sell them in fact it's the only time you get paid as a rancher is when you sell your calves so that's what we're doing today sun just coming up it's 32 degrees this morning So in this kind of weather, especially when it's right at dawn here, I'll stop my horse so it's not so jittery. In this kind of weather, I usually wear long johns. So I have long johns on and then I wear chinks, which are these chap things right here. Don't bite my foot. And uh, that that's usually enough to keep me warm unless there's a wind blowing. As soon as there is a wind blowing, then at 32 degrees is really cold when the wind's blowing. <laughs> I'm just riding with a halter today. I'm not sure if that's a mistake or not, but this horse seems, Calabar, seems to really ride well with a halter, so. You there? Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 hey! Yep, yep, hey! event when you gather cows this time of year so what they're doing is when you push them when you move cows they're all they're all trying to find their babies they're like hey where are you where are you mom where are you baby and uh so that's what they're doing they're calling back and forth so it'll be even noisier when we take the cows off the calves Yep, yep, hey! 
Hey! So we're on position right here. I'm along the side of the cows and we're gonna go to the corner of a field and then turn them. And my job is to make sure all these cows right here go into the herd instead of staying outside the herd. That's what I'm doing. I'm kind of going along them, pushing them towards the main herd. Oh, this, oh, he's peeing. I was wondering why my horse stopped. <laughs> anyway, so Jenny Lee is over there. I don't know if you remember Jenny Lee. And then Corey and a bunch of riders are back behind the cows pushing them up. Hey cows, hey cows, hey cows, up! Hey cows, hey cows, hey cows, hip, 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 hip. Hey cows, hey cows, hip, 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 hip. Hip. Now that we have all of the cows and calves in the bigger pens, we're gonna take sections of them and move them up the alleyway into the sorting corrals where we, we sort the calves off of the cows. Yeah! 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 Take the rest of them in one bunch, huh? Maybe. Come on, cows. Come on. Get up. That's not the right way to go. Young horses think they can be done all of a sudden. Like, oh, what? are we done yet? <laughs> oh, what are you doing over here? She's just saying hi. And just... If you try to move cows up an alleyway all at the same time in a large bunch, they will, ha especially one with a corner in it like this one, you'll have a lot of problems with them pushing out against the fences. So what we're doing here is we're taking bunches of the cattle, we're moving them in about a fourth at a time, a quarter of them at a time, and then moving them up into the corrals. And that way you don't overload that alleyway at the corner into another thing. Hey cows, hey cows, hey cows, hey cows. <laughs>
Yeah, I was just gonna. Okay. So you notice the big lump on this cow's jaw, and that is called actually lump jaw. What it, what it is, is when cows are eating grass, there's seeds and there's little tails to the grass seeds and things that, that are in grass. And if they get one of those stuck in down below between their cheek and their jaw or something, uh, yeah. it can cause lump jaw, which is kind of an <laughs> abscess around that sticker or fiber. And so what you have to do is actually bring them in and lance it. You have to pierce it with something and let the, the uh, fluid drain out of that. So that's what you see on this cow. She needs to be treated, but she's been up in the mountains for the whole summer. So she hasn't been treated because we haven't seen her yet. So sorting calves and, and cows, you're basically just pushing them to one end of the corral and then you're letting cows go by or calves go by, but not both at the same time. So that's what we're doing right here. Two of us are sorting and then there's people behind us to hold them and let them go out the gate at different times into different pens. So they'll let the calves go out into one pen and the cow cows go into another pen. You don't want to go along that side. Watch out, watch out. Oh. We had way too many anyway. Yep, yep. We lost count on this one, Corey. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Is that, is that 30? several jobs that need to be done when you're sorting calves. First, you gotta sort the calves off of the cows. And then you're, right now they're sorting, you gotta sort the steers one way and the heifers the other way because you don't sell those, this, you don't sell steers and heifers at the same time. Some of them you're gonna keep, the ones you're gonna keep as cows go down there. And then the other heifers that will be sold for beef go in a certain place and then all the steers go in one place. Okay, Andrea, you gonna count them this time? I don't know. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 20, that's close. We got a whole bunch, whole bunch. That's good. We're sorting off 30-ish. So we're sorting off 30-ish. And then we push them down to the end of the alleyway there. They push them back up to the this end of the alleyway. And then as they come down the alleyway, they sort off steers one way, heifers the other. And it's easy to tell because when they tag them, they tag them with a, a heifer with this side on this side and a steer on this side. So as they're coming at you, if the tag is on that side, you put them in that pen. 
after it's on this side, you put them in that bag. So for those of you in the UK or in Australia, I apologize, because I don't mean to cut. I always say the dirty bugger. And to hear that is, that's just a normal word, like any, it's just like a, like saying, hey, the dumb thing or something like that. But I, I understand, uh, somebody tell me if that's a really bad word somewhere, then uh, I will attempt to not say that anymore. I apologize. I'm supposed to make family friendly, friendly stuff, and I'm trying. Come on, cows. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Hey, hey, hey. Hip, hip, hey, 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 hey. Hip. Hip, 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 hip. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. You should see my, you should see my leg right here from one of them kicking me. It looks worse now because it's the whole thing is purple. Worse or better? It's 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 worse. It looks worse. It feels well, better. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes that's a badge of honor, so it can technically look better. Right. So if you'll notice right here, there's a bunch of calves, but then there's a cow in here. There's a cow right there. There's another one back there. So you wonder why they're in here with the calves. It's actually because. There. <laughs> it's actually because when you're when all the cows are up in the mountains, they get mixed up with other people's cows. People's cows get out of the fences and get into the pasture with them. And it's it's hard to go into that pasture and find all of your cows when they're spread out all over the mountain. So you wait till they come down out of the mountain. And right here while we're sorting, they're putting all the cows that belong to somebody else over there in that far pen. And then they'll call them, say, hey, I got five of your cows and have them come pick them up so when you when you see when you know all the cows that are out were missing some a lot of times they're with a neighbor's cows and they'll end up in their pen and Corey will get a call and have to run over and get them I figured as soon as I get too far forward, they're gonna quit me. Turn around. Hup. Hup. Come on, Cass. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's keep her back and I can kind of flip the. I can move this herd out from in front of her here. Let's take them around that way, hon. And then they can take her around this way. Or they're actually they're gonna they're gonna go the other way. So go. If they can hold her there, they. Which way are you going? We're gonna go this way. Okay, go, go. Come on. Hip, 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 hip. Okay, go ahead and open her up. Go, go ahead. Swing the gate this way. Swing the gate this way. There you go. There you go. That was, that was fun. Was it? Oh. I don't know where it was pointed. It could have been pointed at me. Here. It was pointed here. Yeah, I was pointed there. I think that's where it was pointed. Semis. They have compartments, so they need 
just a specific number of calves every for every section so they'll tell you we need six and then we need 20 and we need eight and whatever so you just sort them off and then they'll load them up and then they'll tell you what else they need well my horse is eating out here along with the other a couple other horses i think we're sorting off the last of the pairs and i'm gonna have a wag bar as a snack no you don't get any it's not for them this is wagyu beef in the in a beef bar form it's like ground up jerky i mean it's really really good if you want one of these go to mywagbar.com and use the code trinity10 at checkout it's worth it get 10 percent off when you use that code be nice now. Come on. Come on, little bull. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip. There you go. Huh? That's fine. They're going to load him up next. Them to turn around. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> nope, not going that way. It's nope. That way. So the, when you load all the semis, you always have these little tiny bunches of cattle that don't fit. So that's why we're putting some in a horse trailer to bring them over to the ranch. These here are all the cows that belong to somebody else that were in this herd. So he's already called them all. They're going to come load them up while we're gone. We gotta kick him in a different pan here. Now, when, you, when we're moving this bull up the alleyway, you notice I just keep pressure on him the whole time. That's because bulls, if, if you let a bull turn around, they'll just go right through you. You're not really much of an obstacle. So you need to keep pressure when they're facing the right direction, keep pressure on them <laughs> until you get them where you need to go. If you allow them to stop and look around, uh, potentially they can turn right around and go right over top for you or around you, um, depending on the bull. So that we're just talking the cows are headed out over the hill they just turned the cows out without the calves now and they're pretty quiet it's amazing how they're about ready to wean anyway when you about october in october they're ready to get rid of their calf they've they've kind of their calf is eating grass and everything anyway they're not really all that attached so they might the calves will ball when they get to the feed lot right but uh, them cows, they'll, they'll ball a little bit sometimes, but not much. They're just like, well, I'm, I'm rid of them. I'm rid of them for good. Yeah, sorry guys. They don't miss you too much. And don't kick me. Whoop. Come on, calves, hip, hip, hip. Right around. Hip, hip, hip. Come on, come on. Everybody else can't be wrong. Yeah, come on, come on. There you go. Hip, hip, hip. Push up there. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Push, push. Hip, 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 you were standing right there. I got room for six more in there. Good. <laughs> well, that's it for today. We've got all the calves lined out, and shipped off to the feed lots and everywhere where they're gonna spend the rest of their, or for 
got them all shipped off to the feed lots. I'm kind of, I'm kind of messy. I'm gonna have to wash my spurs off because they're all covered in cow crap and everything. That's the problem with riding and then working cows. You should have a pair of muck boots right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab the horses and go and saddle mine and take his back. He's got a load of cows. The rancher's got a load of cows in his trailer, so he can't take his horses back. Well, he'd have to come up here and get them, so I'm gonna take them for him. But it's just so amazing how people think that, uh, you know, the weaning process is so, why do you take the calves off the cows? Well, they're ready. They're ready to come off the cows. Look at those cows out there. They're just eating. They're not even worrying about the calves at all. Like I said, a couple of them will come back to the pen and ball for, you know, a little bit. Just like, where is he? But really, they're ready to get rid of them at this time. They're old enough. They're basically weaned anyway. They're eating grass and hay and so. But it's so, such a contrast between when you have them all in the pan bawling to when they're gone. As soon as the calves are gone, the cows just are dead silent. Listen. Drastic difference. All right, well, I'm gonna catch these horses and put them in the tree there. Move out of the way, move out of the way. Back up into them. last one slip a little bit back further so they can come in staggered and that one it can come in there you go and then the last one come on can come in come on three at the same time. Close this gate so it doesn't fall open. There we are. I can head back home now and get in the saddle of my horse. Sounds good. Thanks for joining me today. If you want more videos like this about the ranching way of life, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you can be notified. And I'll see you in the next one.